Keith and I are going to show you how to build a pull-up bar with multiple grip angles, allowing you to perform several different pull-up variations. At the end of the video, there are abdominal exercise variations as well. Alright, so I know a lot of people are concerned with the weight on the rafters or the trusses. I know people weighing 220 pounds that have these installed with their weight distributed across just two rafters. Here we distribute across three. Any movement you see in the video is from the flange into the 2x4. And it's only noticeable because due to having tall ceilings, I use 24 inch pipe instead of 12 from the flange. Get your phone ready to take a screenshot of the parts list. Also take another screenshot of this quick reference diagram. We begin by assembling the pull-up bar according to the diagram. The 45 degree fitting creates a comfortable wide grip and the top T fitting creates the neutral grip. And the bottom T just holds it all together. The longer pieces came with these orange caps, which we decided to use to cover the threadings on the exposed ends of the pull-up bar. When you have it assembled, center your pull-up bar on the 2x4 and trace the four holes in each flange. Prop up the board and drill the eight holes with a quarter inch bit. We used excessively long bolts here, but we put a shorter length on the parts list. Now you are going to drill 3 8 inch pilot holes into the 2x4. Two holes for each rafter. Rafters are usually spaced 24 inches apart, but you're going to want to go up and check. We started the lag screws into the 2x4 from the floor. The idea is to use the tip to poke a small hole in the ceiling to mark the spot. Then drill a very small pilot hole into the spot to make sure you're hitting the rafters. I'm glad we did too because the first attempt we hit a metal plate and had to move over. Once you have a good spot, drill into the ceiling with a 3 8 bit at each of the six spots. Have your friend hold up the unit while you drive the first lag screw in. Once it's in, continue with the rest and tighten them up. You will want to decide how low to the ground you want your pull-up bar to be. However low, subtract 6 inches from the rest of the unit, and that's the length you want to buy and place the 12-inch pipe. For example, if you want the bar 24 inches down from the ceiling, get 18-inch pipes instead of the two 12-inch pipes. Alright, so now on to abs. The T-fitting has a perfect notch to hold ab straps. You can always just hold the bar, but this allows you to focus your energy on the abdominals. I'll put a link in the description to the pair I'm using, but prices range between $15 and $60, so search around. And by the way, the parts list will be in the video description as well. video is brought to you by I Hunt Dead Things. Please, if you are quarantined and bored, watch some of our adventures and consider subscribing.